Attention! Go! Wifold Challenge Cup, race 16, Molsey against Upper Thames. Good morning, everybody. Change in the commentary box. Me, Tim Della, alongside Annie Vernon here at Henry Moore Regatta. Just watching the start of this race and both boats off pretty cleanly. Molsey against Upper Thames in the Wifold and it's Molsey on the Berkshire bank, furthest away in the picture and nearest to you is Upper Thames. And it looks like Molsey have just taken an early advantage, half a length early advantage here. Annie, good morning to you. Morning, Tim. It's cracking flagstones out there, isn't it? Really warm, yeah. already at mid-twenties. Indeed, and I think the consequence of that is we're seeing some really, really quick times today. Already we've seen two records, two course records go, and, and as the racing gets hotter, this is sure to continue. One of those records broken by uh, nine and a bit seconds. Astonishing. I know, absolutely phenomenal. And you really feel for the Oxford Brooks crew that came second in that race. I think they lost by a few feet in what would have been a new course record themselves, but of course, just not quite the right side of the margin. But looking at this race here, I think with this kind of lead, we won't be seeing a record seeing a record in the wide world. Yeah, Molsey and Upper Thames, perhaps with uh, more modest ambitions. Molsey setting a pretty furious pace early on. Upper Thames trying to stay with them, but this is a early margin that you're uh, witnessing here. And that would be decisive, you'd have thought. You might turn out otherwise, something disastrous could happen, but looking at it, it seems to be already sewn up and we're only in the early stages of this race. Yes, I mean, I guess the only thing you would say is Molsey do seem to be hugging the side of the course on the left-hand side, uh, as you can see in your picture there, possibly going a little bit too close to the posts on their right. So we're hoping that they won't, as you can see, they've probably only got a few feet clearance there on their, on their oars on their, their uh, right-hand side to the wooden post. So we're hoping they're not going to get a little bit closer and possibly have a collision. Lots of good pedigree in that Molsey boat. Several ex-junior internationals on board. A couple of oarsmen from last year's Thames Cup crew. And uh, arguably the domestic favourites for this event, though time will tell. Certainly so far in this race, they've looked good for that billing. You can just see in the background there the, the Remenham Club, which is the historic club halfway down the course, which is the home of, of a number of different London-based clubs, including Molsey, and, and, and home clubs that row past there get what is known as the Remenham Roar, with massive support there from their travelling supporters, and I'm sure Molsey are enjoying that at the moment, several lengths in front. Yes, that roar will only get uh, noisier as the day goes on. Still only 10 a.m. UK time, so the crowd's filling up throughout the day. We'll have big crowds in today. Friday's always a big day for Henny Raw Regatta attendance. And then on Saturday and Sunday, the crowds will get bigger and bigger, certainly with the weather as it is here in the UK at the moment. That'll attract the crowds. At the moment, it looks very likely that Molsey Boat Club will be entertaining them. The Molsey Boat Club A crew in this Y-fold heat going very well as they approach Stewards. You can see Stewards in the background and all the landmarks of Henley. Not a breath of air out there, really. A couple of flags fluttering just a little bit, but uh, not too much of a wind. Certainly it won't be uh, a wind that will in any way bother these boats today. No, I think this, this slight following breeze, the warm water, the very low stream. Remember at Henley they race against the stream, so if there's too much rain in the weeks leading up to the regatta, the stream will be higher, the racing will be slower, but it's been very dry here in South East England. Um, very little movement on the water, so again, we're going to see some very quick times today. But this Molsey crew, very strong performance so far. They came through four lengths in their first round, two and a half lengths in their, in their second round, and today they look on course for another comfortable victory. Good crowds there in front of Stewart's enclosure. Those chairs precariously close to the bank. Molsey gritty looking successful at the moment. Upper Thames Rowing Club chasing them a couple of lengths back, as they have been for most of this race. Still a little way to go, a few more strokes for Molsey Boat Club to see themselves over the finish line, but in truth they've had this one under control pretty much from start to finish, from Temple Island all the way down towards Henley Bridge, which is where they're approaching right now. Molsey Boat Club know their work is done. Liam Tustin in bow, Christopher Ray, Harry Glenister and Alistair Douglas at stroke. And this four 
Impressive once again, good for their billing as one of the domestic favourites. Last few strokes, some credit to Upper Thames Rowing Club A, who have worked hard to keep it to just over a length, but it's Molsey Boat Club A who successfully moved through that round of the Y-fold in some style. Always under control, right from Temple Island all the way down the mile and a bit course. 